So Corey Graves is just busy planting the seeds here. He's saying how Dominic had to take a back seat for the betterment of the team. And you're seeing Edge and Ray, and there was such a great contrast. They are just over the moon that they won this match. And Dominic's standing there, and it's not like he's overacting. But you can see that he is not sharing in this celebration with Edge and Daddy. And then he he's just looking at Edge, and it's just like the the steam is coming out of the ears of Dominic. And then dude hits a field goal, meeting Edge in the balls. Dude, he just nails him. And this whole crowd cannot believe it. And then Ray is just pleading with him. And Dominic yells, it's all your fault. Ray's just, how could you do this to Uncle Edge? And then he drills Ray with the clothesline and this audience gasps as Dominic takes his shoes off, took his shoes off in the ring, rips off the shirt. Rey Mysterio, who deserves an Oscar, pardon the pun for Mr. Gutierrez here, he is in tears. Dude, he's crying at what his son has done. And then Ray is consoling Edge and apologizing for my kid and what he did to you. I'm so sorry, Edge. And Dominic leaves. Dude, Dominic was my highlight of, of this. I thought he was great. Um, and, th- and this was, you know, what I liked about this is that for for so many times, like this would just come out of nowhere. It's like no one would expect Dominic to turn on his father. It's so preposterous that mm-hmm. it's going to come out of left field and y- you go for the swerve and everyone being stunned. They planted this for for weeks, if not months at this point, as Way so expertly pointed out, dude, that mullet was the tip-off of all tip-offs, okay? This man was take he was not just emulating Eddie Guerrero, he was becoming Eddie Guerrero. And now he has turned on Ray and he's got matches. He's got to do the match with Edge and perhaps the match with Ray at, at some point too, if they want to go that direction. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's booking pretty, pretty hair versus mask. Uh, Sure. Yeah. Um, Somebody should be put up to for custody, you know, Uh, Ray is going to blame the mullet. The mullet is, is poisoning your brain. I want that hair gone. Mm. I want you to dye your hair blonde tips like 2005 in the custody battle. Okay. That's that's the hair I want, Dominic. It, it, the storytelling coming out of, out of this is is incredibly fascinating to me. But first, let's talk about the turn itself. You, like you mentioned, John, I think this was something that they've really kind of reserved themselves from, from doing. Because I think in another era, um, they would have been broken up a long time ago. You know, these two. They've been teaming together for how long? Like two years? Yeah. You know, something like that. Yeah, Ever Dominic's since been on TV back. for two years at, at this point. And, I, and I'm sure that these two had great reservations about doing this angle, but they're yeah. finally doing it. But I mean, you know, throughout that almost that entire time, people were asking, well, OK, when is Dominic going to turn on Ray? When is Dominic going to turn on Ray? They held off for a long, long time until they waited for the right story. And and this seemed like it was the right story and the right time. You've given Dominic enough sort of seasoning um, on his own. He when I say that, though, like. It's not like he's shown that much more like charisma at all, right? And I think that's part of what makes all of this so fascinating. What is Dominic Mysterio going to look like as a heel? Okay, how is he going to perform when he's relied upon to cut a heel promo? Um, that remains to be seen. But like WWE has a very unique opportunity to present a very different type of heel character with Dominic because his personality is so muted. I'll say like again, that muted personality really kind of helped put everybody at ease before this swerve even though or before this turn because even though we all knew it was coming because how is a guy who looks this innocent going to turn on you know poor old dad and he did it and it it shocked this crowd production as always with the wwe they do a great job catching those crowd shots and they did a bunch of wonderful zoom zooms in for for this uh card of audience with their uh mouth mouth agape at at this at the scene even though we all really kind of saw it coming still when you're once you're actually seeing it, it it felt very special. So we wonder now if, if at this point he'll he'll hook up with Judgment Day. Um, and again, like to me, the storytelling that you can do and the video footage that you could drag out of a young Dominic Mysterio being put up for custody by poor, you know, uh, by by his father. How reckless, you know, um, time and time again, you know, putting him in danger, being berated by CM Punk, you know. Um, there's just so much wonderful story and so much reason for Dominic to want to turn on poor old dad. Where's his A&E special? 
been Valorant. It's, he, he's on his way. On his way, man. Ten years from now. Watch it. All I know is that in my history of reviewing these shows, I feel that everything has been a dress rehearsal for this promo on Monday that Dominic has to deliver. Oh, boy. Yeah. Get ready. Definitely. I liked it. I thought I thought, I thought it was a good angle at the end. The crowd was just stunned at the end. And I think it made it something extra given just how over Edge was. Mm-hmm. And... Um, yeah, and, and whether they were going to pull the trigger here, like it made sense to do it on, on a big show like this. And it, it certainly um, sends us off into a different direction. This, this you know, needed to happen in order for really kind of the Dominic Mysterio character to, to continue to justify his position on this show. Because, I mean, just kind of, you know, being a second to dad is only going to really take you so far. Honestly, it's been kind of boring already. So this is a chance for him to flee the nest and to develop his own personality. And he's in great hands if he's going up against dad and edge. Like you can't ask for better opponents to, you know, have your first real program with. 